in. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notifications of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I also put um, upload notification information for my Instagram page in the description box below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you.
where she ended up being an heiress. I didn't know this part. She ended up being an heiress. See, I thought her diary came from the judge when he died and that Elizabeth Murray gave her, no. The, I mean, that did happen, but what it really was, how she became an heiress was her father left her land and money where she would have been getting $2,000 a year. Now, I know that don't sound like nothing now, but I Googled it. <laughs> I Googled what that would be in today's time, and it was about an average of $135,000 per year she would have been getting. And that's quite a bit of money. That's six figures. That's quite a bit of money. And she basically was set for the rest of her life but her uncle was very particular on who she was to marry he wanted to set it up and of course you know when the the family who he wanted to marry her off to found out that she had money it became a little bit more like pushing for it but seriously the mother and the oldest brother of that family could not get past the fact that she was black um, and yes, I don't, I think I need to make this clear. These are, these are white people. The, the suitors for, um, that Elizabeth are white. And, uh, I mean, the one brother was just dead set against it. He was just like, absolutely not. You know, she's got to bring shame on our family and embarrassment on our family. And she was extremely smart. I mean, she was very, very smart. You have to remember, this is a time where they didn't even want black people knowing how to read. And what ended up happening was she met John, who later became her husband. And he was the son of a minister so the judge was like absolutely not I don't care what anybody says they were not to marry because he was considered to be poor he could not bring anything to the table for Dido because of course ministers basically lived off what the church gave them and people at church gave you what they could and so he was like absolutely not and um, she did fall in love with John and he was in love with her and she would um, sneak to go see him not for anything inappropriate she would go sneak to see him to talk to him about a ruling over the slave ship now this is the part where I explained before there was a slave ship that was coming in where they took the property, people, cargo, people, and because they said, what the captain and the crew said was, they did not have enough food or water for the crew and the cargo, they dumped them into the ocean. But that was not the case. The case, and this is why it was going to court, because the captain wanted the insurance money for the cargo, the people. I need to make that clear, we're talking about people. He wanted the insurance money for the cargo because of course he paid for them. He was to sell them, but he couldn't sell them because he dumped them overboard saying because there wasn't enough food and water when actuality he dumped them overboard because he had them packed in there so tight and it was too many people where they all ended up getting sick. You are talking about people using the bathroom, people who were already sick and they were getting sick so when they would come to port back to London, he wouldn't be able to sell them because they, the cargo literally was no good anymore. So he had to, the judge, um, her uncle at the time, who they categorized as being just below the king, that's some big shoes, just below the king, he had to make a decision were they to get the insurance money or not. John, her future husband, was trying to convince him, 
I'm sorry, convince him, the judge, that no, they should not get the money. It wasn't that they were out of food and water. It was because they were diseased. And it was because they unlawfully, unlawfully stacked the people in there like they did. And I'll tell y'all about it, what his ruling was. But he actually went down in history for his decision making. And people said things because you know how they are in the towns and they talk and stuff. They felt like he was going to be making his judgment based off having Dido and her being black but he had to you know let people know that he knows how to separate the law from his personal life even though Dido did talk to him about it and the picture came into play because of all the portraits that were in the house in the home and in the home, which the picture is no longer at. I told y'all it was still there. It's not. It's in Scotland. But, um, so that was the second thing I had incorrect. It is in Scotland. But what ended up happening was she saw all these pictures of people who look like her. And then the white people in the pictures, they were looking up to them so it would be for instance a little boy kneeling down in front of a white man looking up at him and you know she questioned her uncle uh about it and she was a child at the time but be when she became a woman her and elizabeth um murray ended up doing the painting together and you know what i thought was so interesting you know they were actually sitting in chairs and that artist took what he had and just made it into a beautiful piece of art they were sitting in chairs but i digress um this is a movie but <laughs> she had questions and was like literally afraid of being in being in that portrait and the uncle told her, you're gonna be right beside her like the two of you always are. No difference. You are to be in the portrait with her. And I think she was afraid uh, because she being in the portrait, she was not going to look like the other people of color that were in portraits. She was going to look like her sister, cousin. They were raised together like sisters, but that's what she was to look like. Um, let me run in here really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. We had to make a stop. It's getting dark. Um, so that's basically how it went with the portrait. Um, I think she felt some kind of way about doing it because of the other pictures that were in the home, but he convinced her that this is what she was supposed to be doing. Why don't I feel like I'm right? This is a hot mess right here. I'm so sorry. It's the traffic, the way they, I'm supposed to be turning over here because of the way the other people were depicted and showed in the pictures. So, as far as her getting, I'm so irritated about this. As far as her getting um, married was concerned, they were taking a trip to London. I'm so sorry. They were taking a trip to London and basically what happened was she was told by her uncle that she was not to basically be courted at all. And her cousin could not understand why. He just was like, he didn't want her to. She was not supposed to. And that was the beginning and end of the story. She was not to be courted by anyone while she was there. And she felt like she was being punished because she had gotten caught out there, you know, sneaking out to go see 
um, John when she wasn't supposed to be. Uh, so she felt like she was being punished, but what he really was saying was he loved her so much he did not want anyone taking advantage of her. He didn't care who it was. He didn't want her to be taken. I'm, I'm so confused by this. I don't even know what to say. Child, I don't even know where the line is coming or going. Ooh, we y'all got to see this. This is a mess. I'm going to have to go out and go back around. I guess is what it looks like to me. Um, I'm sorry, this is so like bad what I'm doing to you guys. But this is a hot mess, y'all. This Chick-fil-A be on 10. Okay, we're getting in line. Okay, sorry. So, yes. Um, he was basically saying he loved her so much he didn't want anyone taking advantage of her. He didn't want anyone taking advantage of who she was. He didn't want anyone taking advantage of her money. He didn't want anyone using her. So he was more protective of her. Yes, he was. Than um, Elizabeth Murray. Don't eat all that candy, ma. Okay. And when she did go to London, she did not listen. Someone asked her... I don't know if he was really asking her out or if he asked her just to go on a walk. But, you know, you weren't even supposed to be, like, holding hands or nothing. Like, nothing like that. And the older brother of the gentleman who asked her did not hold his tongue on how displeased he was with that. And when he caught her by herself the older brother when he caught her by herself like he was completely inappropriate he snatched her up by her arm and he grabbed her somewhere he didn't have any business and i'm not trying to get political but i've just said enough so y'all know what i mean um and when she tried to tell her cousin what he did, she did not believe her. She was saying, he wouldn't have touched you. You're beneath him. And she's like, what do you mean I'm beneath him? And they were arguing and she said, you're illegitimate. And I thought to myself, wow, she still is blind to the fact that this is all happening because she's black. She literally is blind to that. At least that's how they portrayed it in the movie. And, uh, but that title said, I'm not the illegitimate one, honey. You are. <laughs> I told my daughter, I said, you know what? We messy now. We was messy back then, too. <laughs> we just can't help it. It's in our blood lie. <laughs> She said, I'm not the illegitimate one, honey. I have my daddy's name. He claimed me. He left me my inheritance. You have nothing. Your father does not even say you belong to him. He did not leave you a dime. You're poor. That literally was like... Now, they were arguing like sisters argue. They were. Uh, but that was just like... Wow, like eye-opening that this woman was saying this to her, you know. <sighs> it was crazy. But uh, what ended up happening was her uncle did decide to say that the captain and the crew members were not to get the insurance for 
the cargo, the slaves that they threw over on that ship, that they were not to get paid, that they passed up eight ports, eight, if they actually did need food and water. They passed up eight ports where they could have stopped and been provided with the, necess um, the necessities that they needed. They, um, he also said that it was illegal for them to have uh, the slaves uh, crammed into the ship the way they did. Trying to bring back more people faster. And he said it was illegal. They weren't supposed to be doing that. Um, he also said that no cargo, whether it be horses or people, should have been thrown over into the ocean. So, you know, of course, people were upset, but he did it anyway. And they still talk about that decision today over in England. You know, it wasn't here in America that this was all happening. And um, when he saw how much John really did love Dido, whether she had money or whether she did not have money, he um, gave his blessing for them to be married. And he also gave John a job as his, you know, what we would think is a, an internship, but basically where he would work underneath him so he could become a lawyer and then go up from there. And of course they had two sons together. And like I said, she did die young, but this woman was very well taken care of. And I do, at least I want to believe that she was loved, but some of the things, like I said, it wasn't a hundred percent. There were issues like her not being a, oh, that's what I wanted to tell y'all. Child, she wasn't able to eat dinner with the family and guests. She ate dinner, but then she had to wait in the, um, what is it? And another room, and another room, a beautiful room. And they would come in and greet her after dinner. You know, whatever. Child, that mother with the two sons, she walked in and said out her mouth, I didn't expect her to be so black. What? Like, we was like, me and Elena was like, what? And I mean, she said it like Dido wasn't even sitting there. Like literally she said it like she was at home by herself with her kids talking like the woman wasn't even in the room. But of course her son liked it. So, but that didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, and it didn't happen, one, because she didn't love him, and two, because she really felt like he only wanted to marry her um, to have like a trinket, a toy, and because she had money. Like the expectation was the man had to be bringing in 4,000 a year. She was already bringing in half that. She was already bringing in half that. So it wasn't that she needed to have a man take care of her. She was already fine financially. It was about her finding love and who she found love with was John. And it was just, it was just a really nice story. Like when he was arguing back and forth with her uncle, it was like, whoa, you know, they didn't do that stuff, but he loved her. And you know he did because they stayed married until she died. You know? It's just, it's nice. So I just wanted to tell you guys the rest of the story. I wanted you guys to hear it. I love the story. I really did. Um, I probably will watch the movie again before it disappears off my um, Amazon video. But, um... If you get the chance or you get the opportunity to watch it, please do. Um, this taught me a lot about something I had no idea. Uh, 
and I hope I was able to like teach other people. I don't think people realize that these things actually did happen. You know, there were people who were treated like animals because of the color of their skin. I just think that's absolutely ridiculous. And it's not right. It's not right. I don't care what it is. It's not right. So I will be doing that diamond painting. I'm super, super excited about it. I'm glad you guys were um, so supportive of the, uh, the unboxing or the show and tell of it. I literally, I promise you on everything, I did not expect that reaction. I just didn't. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what came over me, but whew, that was real. Like I felt something. I don't know why. Well, I know why, but you know what I'm saying? Like at that time. So, um, so her uncle, his wife too, his wife, and that she wasn't on top of it at first, but she did. She reared her up to be a woman. And the aunt, she also had her hands and reared her up. Like, you know, nobody was happy about it in the beginning. I'm, I mean, even if that was me, black or not, you bringing somebody in talking about, I need you to raise this kid. I'd be like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You know what I mean? So that would have been times 10 bringing in this person of color to be raised in this area in this day and time. And they made sure she stayed out of slavery and her children, like that's a huge big deal. So I wanna show you guys real quick. I did go to Joanne's to get a diamond painting. Stop Maya. I did go to Joanne's to get a diamond painting. And the reason why I did, y'all know how I am with these cool pines the um it was already 30 percent off plus they were giving you an additional 25 percent off so this painting was a um in the store i know online it's a different price that's because they're trying to make up the difference with that shipping i noticed that i have noticed that but that's okay on in the store it was Am I lying? Is this, was it 65 in the store? It was because the other one I was looking at was 55. So this one was 65 originally. Yes, it was. And I got it for less than $40 after tax. I'll show you. It's a Chuck Pinson. It's a square. It is Quiet Cove. Can y'all see it? Oops, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys. Can y'all see it? It's Quiet Cove. And it is a 56 by 76 centimeter. So it's a big one. But I am telling y'all, if y'all have coupons, y'all need to use them and you will get a much better deal than you would going online but i will say this i noticed that their prices can be a little bit uh more expensive because of the shipping because there was one that i was looking at i think it was um don't do it sis <laughs> sorry there's an opening up here where people are to use it to go out once they get their food and people who are just getting in line will literally try to get into this little space. Don't do me, I'll get out the score. No, I've been waiting here 15 minutes. Beat it. I'm a mess. So guys, let me know what you think about the movie, the diamond painting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. You guys remember to stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.